What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys an early look at the upcoming Salehi Bembury collaboration with New Balance on the 574 Yurt in this multicolor colorway. Today's video was sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. So Hefalux is my favorite go-to sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material as Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort to your shoes, be sure to check out their website down below. You'll see they sell four different insole options. So depending on the type of insole density and cushioning setup you're looking for, there's gonna be something for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and I definitely stand by their products. They truly add a ton of comfort for my feet. So on checkout, be sure to use the code SEANGO and get 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this marks the latest collaboration between Salehi Bembry and New Balance, and this is part of a wider collection called the Universal Communications Pack. And headlining this collection, along with the apparel, are these shoes, which is the all-new 574 Yurt, which is an outdoors or hiking inspired shoe that takes the iconic New Balance 574 as the base, but it adds elements from the Test Run 3.0, the 990 V3, and the New Balance 755. So one of the pairs releasing is of course the iconic all gray colorway, but there's a few other colorways inspired by famous locales, including this one, which is inspired by the colors of the Sequoia National Park in California. So the style code for this shoe is MS574YSB, and according to websites online, it's simply just called multicolor, but I've seen some other websites call this olive, blue, and red. But as of right now, I'm not exactly sure what the official colors of the shoe are. Either way though, this pair is going to retail for a price of 150 US dollars, which is roughly 190 Canadian. And just like the other Salehi Bembury collaborations, this one is also made in Vietnam, not in US or the UK. So first off, here's a quick look at the box. And just like the other Salehi Bembury collaborations, this comes in a very beautiful box with images of scenic landscapes found throughout. So on the top, you can see here it says yurt. There is an image of a yurt, which is basically like a tent. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the different panels of this shoe depict the different colorways of the shoe, with the top lid being Sequoia National Park. The side here, I believe this is Antelope Valley. And the image on the other side, I believe this one is Utah. As for the shoes, so obviously this is a very chunky shoe and it has some serious hiking and outdoor vibes to it. Taking a look at the toe box, the base layer here is constructed out of this mesh material in this diamond shaped pattern. And overlaid on the sides, we have these 3M hits, which is done in this pale burgundy finish. Overlaid on top of this, we have this very hairy suede, which is done in this olive color. And to the touch, the suede feels very high quality. Overlaid on the front toe cap on the medial side, we have this dimpled burgundy colored leather, which has a bit of a rough texture to it. And then covering the mid panel of both sides of the shoe, we have more of that long haired olive colored suede. Stitched on top of this, we have the New Balance N logo, which is done in the textured olive colored leather with an underlying layer of leather in red. Next to this, we have another hit of this pale burgundy or pale brown colored leather. And then protruding out of this, we have a Salehi Bembury tag. Surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that navy blue colored mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box. And then underneath this, wrapping around the back end of the shoe, we have more of that long haired olive colored suede. Surrounding the bottom of the back heel, we have this tan colored TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And definitely the strangest and the most controversial design aspect about this shoe can be found in the center of the back heel. So attached to the back heel, we have an actual functional whistle and it actually works. Moving on, so for the laces, these come with these flat green or olive colored laces. And then underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of a combination of nylon and suede. So you can see running down the center, we have this navy blue nylon, and we have this New Balance Yurt 574 tag in the center. And then the outer edges of the tongue are left in that olive colored suede that we saw on the sides of the shoe. So the inner liner of the shoe is lined in this reddish orange textile, which definitely adds a lot of pop and contrast to the look of the shoe. And then moving on to the insoles, these come with their standard foam line insole. It has this raised and bumpy texture to it, which is really unique. And then stamped on the heel, we have both New Balance and Salehi Bembury branding. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this very chunky Absorb Foam midsole. The midsole itself looks like it's almost segmented into pieces. And on the lateral side only, on the top row of the midsole itself, we have these navy blue rubber pods, which is New Balance's Absorb SBS technology. Underneath the heel, this tan hit, this is New Balance's Roll Bar technology, which is essentially a TPU insert in the midsole, which gives you a ton of support and sturdiness on the shoe. And it's there in place to help people that over pronate. And on the back heel, you'll see the foam is super chunky, and we have these two little pill-like protrusions sticking out the midsole. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole, which is constructed out of this black-colored rubber, with a speckling of this brown paint found throughout. 
This is a very rugged trail-like outsole with a very aggressive traction pattern, especially on the forefoot. And on the back heel, you'll see we have New Balance branding, but the rubber on the back heel actually protrudes outwards. And this is visible when you look at the shoe from the top down. And in the middle of the outsole, we have this rectangular cutout, which reveals this tan colored New Balance branding. And this helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this 574 yurt. For those wondering how these fit, so the unfortunate news is I was unable to get my size, so I can't really give you guys an accurate representation of how these actually fit. But if it was up to me, I'd probably get my normal 574 size, which is a half size down or a size nine and a half. But again, this is a complete guess. So honestly, they could fit a lot bigger. They could fit a lot smaller. So unfortunately, I can't really help you guys too much from that department. Moving on to the comfort though. So this shoe is pretty comfortable overall. To be honest, when I saw images of this shoe and I saw how chunky the midsole was, I was expecting this to be super, super comfortable, but unfortunately it's not amazingly comfortable, but it does its job. So I felt like because of the roll bar on the back heel, it definitely nullifies the squishiness and the softness of the midsole. And the majority of the comfort was coming from the forefoot. However, the materials on the upper felt very soft and broken in straight out of the box. So all things considered, I'd say it still was pretty comfortable from a comfort standpoint. It just wasn't blowing my mind. Last but not least, from an overall quality and craftsmanship standpoint, all in all, I was very impressed. Again, this is not a made in USA or made in UK pair. However, a lot of the made in Asia pairs from New Balance have been really high quality lately. And this one I feel is no exception. There's such a wide variety of materials from the leathers, the suede, all that stuff combined. I thought all of it was very high quality. And in terms of the overall build, I had no noticeable flaws on my pair at all. I felt like it was a very well put together shoe from New Balance. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. From a design standpoint, I'll be honest, this is not my favorite New Balance silhouette. It's definitely very eccentric and it's very unique. And I just think this colorway specifically has too much of that trail or outdoorsy vibe. I think my personal favorites are gonna be the all gray pair and maybe the white, blue, and pink, which I believe is the Utah pair and the greenish blue pair coming in at third. Still, I appreciate Soleil Bembry for really pushing the envelope and giving us something new and fresh. I just think this silhouette and this colorway specifically doesn't really match my style. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Soleil Bembry New Balance 574 Yurt. What are your overall thoughts on the silhouette and what are your thoughts on this colorway specifically? And when these drop on October 16th, are you guys planning on copying these? And if you cop these, is this gonna be a flip or something you're gonna hold on to and resell down the road? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at shawngo.ca. I also have a podcast called The Channel 8 Podcast, and I upload the video version right here onto my YouTube channel. But if you want to stream just the audio-only version, you can check it out on most of your major podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Podbean. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.